Hey, what's up guys? Be on Vox and welcome to the Vox of Gaming. I'm wearing pajama pants and you can't tell. This is a show where I cover all your gaming news that's going on right now to keep you guys updated and have some conversations with your friends and keep you intrigued and thinking interesting thoughts. But not only that, covering some indie stuff and a Kickstarter, so if you guys want to help another game be developed, there you go. Gamer news, we just heard that Walking Dead, the last and final episode, is coming out on November 20th. So now you can finally find out, will come in time, live happily ever after, will Lee go to jail, will a zombie apocalypse to be over. Will Brad Pitt save us all? World War Z? That should be pretty interesting. Now, the best thing about this though, even when you're done after playing this final episode, you can go back and replay them all and change up your decisions and see how it affects your storyline. Now, we've been playing episode by episode so far. That means the game hasn't been finished yet. Well, after this episode, it will be. This also means that there's going to be a retail box available in stores for you. It's going to cost $30 for your regular one, $70 if you want the special edition, which comes with all kinds of goodies. Now, this is planned to come out in December, so there you go. Present idea. All right, guys. Now, in other news, with the Wii U coming out just around the corner on the 18th for the U.S. series, on the 30th for Europe, don't worry, though. You're not last because Japan, the place of origin, in December comes out. Now, the Wii U is still trying to expand its market, trying to get all kinds of games on it and everything else. Well, Ubisoft wants to help and connect friends and everybody else by using their Uplay method. They would like to put the Uplay on the Wii U. I think they're doing it just because they like the name. It has a U in it. They're suckers for that stuff. Let's put a U on everything. It's like Apple. I everything. Now, there is no date for this just yet other than saying soon. So, you'll be able to play Assassin's Creed, also Zombie U, and connect your friends a little bit easier, hopefully. Black Ops news time. Wait, it already came out. What else is there to talk about? Oh, it's being broken for PlayStation. I feel for you PlayStation users. I mean, come on. All those Skyrim DLCs you can't get, and now this? Basically, a lot of EU users can't download the Nuketown 2025 map, also the Zombie map. Map. So these are known to be grinding maps here, especially with the XP double weekend coming out now. They're also claiming that it's probably because of due to high traffic. Also connectivity issues you guys are having too with PlayStation. So Woo, you guys are having all kinds of trouble. Now in other news, next week is going to be huge for gamers here because now All-Star Battle Royale comes out for PlayStation. Hopefully it works. But look at this! You already have a DLC you can download for free. Well, at least for a fortnight. That's two weeks for everybody who doesn't use old English. This is gonna add two new characters for you. Emma Grace from Starhawk, which has a special ability to rain hell from the heavens. Which makes sense because you can do that in the game. Next one up is Cat from Gravity Rush. This is a Vita exclusive. Now, if you guys didn't play this game, it was a pretty cool puzzler game where you had gravity abilities and she's probably gonna be using them to position her Herself strategically on the map. Oh, and she has a cat companion called Dusty. It's gonna be overpowered. It's a cat in a video game. Come on. Now, even though the game comes out next week, there's no release date for this DLC just yet. You can look for it though. All right, movie gamer time. Now, this can be nails on a chalkboard for some people or for beloved fans who don't care what they get as long as they get something in movie form of their favorite video game. Well, Splinter Cell fans, here you go. Tom Hardy. That, I, I'm already sold. You sold me right there. Some of his biggest, most recent titles include The Dark Knight Rises, Inception, Bronson. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Well, he's gonna be filling the shoes of Sam Fisher from the Ubisoft title Spinner Cell, and who knows what's gonna be covered because this franchise has been around for over 10 years. They got a lot to pick from. The film script is being written by Eric Warren Singer, who's worked on other projects like The International and the TV series Eon Flux. So this could be pretty good. Who knows? Either way, I have high hopes for it. Nah, I jinxed it. All right, you're good to the day now, Spider Man. Looks like he has a new enemy who hangs on to his every move, literally. Come on, talk about trolling. I can't wait to see this in the extended cuts of the movie. Indie news time. Now this is called Blocks World. If you guys love sandbox games, interactivity, keeping your creative mind rolling, then this game is perfect for you. This is all about combining lots of different things to make them come to life. Whether you want to make a motorcycle, lots of different animals, jetpacks on that animal, whatever. You can build it, you can make it happen, you can have lots of fun. Best part is too, it's gonna to be online and offline, so either way you wanna play it. Now this comes out on November 21st, so you can go ahead and build with your friends or just look at things that you did randomly and go, what the hell did I just build? Crowdfunding time. All right, if you guys wanna help out a game being developed and get things awesome in return, then here you go. Wait, why show you one game when I can show you six? This is called Retro Game Crunch and it's six games in six months. So if you're tired of waiting for Kickstarters after you give them money and then you have to wait a few years to actually get something in return, 
This is the best way to get your money back right away. Now they're gonna be doing polls, so this way you guys can vote on what kind of game you want next on the next month. So they want $60,000 total. It's about $10,000 per game. They already have $18,000 and have 26 days left to go. Now as for backers, for $15 you get three games. If you pledge $25 you get seven games. That includes the demo version that they did during the London Dare competition. All right, now time to give something away. Congratulations to the 10 winners who got Humble Bundle 4. It just came out, it's for charity. And thank you to the team there who are giving them to the Vox of Gaming fans. This has tons of CDs with all the codes that you guys have just won. Congratulations, it'll be throughout the week as well. So make sure to comment below, subscribe, and be awesome YouTubers and like the video. And if you need something to comment on, here you go. What game, no matter what system, are you looking forward to coming out next week that we talked about in this episode? All right, guys, that's it for me, though. I am Beyond Vox, and I will see you tomorrow. That's right, we're doing a Saturday show. Woo! All right, guys, see ya in game. <gasps> Pajama pants! See, told you, wasn't lying. Bye!